Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to install the AIO Liquid CPU cooler on Dell Optiplex 3080 mid tower with push and pull configuration. This process doesn't require mod the case or removing the motherboard. Here are the things we need. Acetec 545LC 92mm small form factor AIO liquid cooler. 4 radiator cooling fan screw. 8 M5 by 8mm PC fan screws. 4 zinc flat washers. An 80mm fan. A 92mm fan. PC mounting flat 80mm to 92mm fan adapter. You can order the adapter from eBay or Amazon, but I created it myself because I don't want to wait for shipping. 1 to 3 PWM fan splitter cable. The thermal paste. Water cooler radiator fitting screws fan mounting screw. Now let's install the 80mm and 92mm fans to the radiator. Now let's open the side panel of the Dell Optiplex 3080 mid-tower. Removing the CPU fan shroud. Now let remove the CPU fan. To install the Acetec 545 CL AIO liquid CPU cooler on the Dell Optiplex 3080 mid-tower, you don't need to remove the motherboard to change the CPU cooler bracket on the back. The Acetec 545 CL AIO cooler screw sets should fit perfectly to the Dell Optiplex 3080 MT CPU cooler mounting hole. Now let's look at the setup for the fan connection. The 80mm fan has a 4-pin PWM connector. And the 92mm fan also has a 4-pin PWM connector. Now let's check the I.O. pump connector. The pump of the Acetec 92mm AIO CPU cooler uses a 3-pin DC fan connector. Here I have a 1-3 to 4-pin PWM fan splitter cable. The cable uses a 4-pin fan connector, which I can plug the cable to the CPU header on the Dell Optiplex 3080 mid-tower motherboard. There is only a fan header available on the motherboard of this PC, which is a standard 4-pin PWM fan header. For the three 4-pin PWM fan connectors of the splitter cable, the first one is 4-pin, which is the 4-pin connector designed for PWM-controlled fans. These fans can adjust their speed dynamically based on the PWM signal from the motherboard or fan controller. The second and the third fan connectors are 3-pin. The reason for the 3-pin females is so that you don't have three fans trying to report speed to the same header on the motherboard, giving bad numbers. The missing wire and pin is the RPM speed signal. It does not matter which one is plugged into the 4-pin female. Let's connect the fans and the pump to the splitter cable. I connect the 92mm PWM fan to the first 4-pin connector on the splitter cable because I use this fan as the main fan. Then I connect the 80mm fan to the second fan header. The pump of the AIO cooler uses a DC fan connector. I connect this pump to the last one of the fan headers of the splitter cable. By missing one pin on the PWM fan header, the pump cable wired is only connected to the 12-volt pin and the ground pin, so the pump will run at full speed all the time. Now I connect the PWM fan splitter cable to the motherboard via the CPU fan header. 
Now I have successfully installed the AIO pump on the motherboard, which is straightforward. I don't need to modify the case or change the CPU fan mounting bracket on the back of the motherboard. The Dell Optiplex 3080 mid tower supports an 80 mm rear fan, so I use the 80 mm fan to 92 mm fan bracket adapter. Now I can mount the 92 mm radiator with the case through 80 mm fans. By installing a 92 mm fan on the front of the radiator with a push configuration to push hot air outside the case, and installing the 80 mm fan on the back of the radiator in a pull configuration allows me to mount the radiator to the case very simply because I can put the screw the 80 mm fans with the case. Now I have completed installing the 92 mm AIO CPU liquid cooler on Dell Optiplex 3080 mid tower without modifying the case. Everything fits perfectly. Now let's do some cable management. Here you can see what the Dell Optiplex 3080 mid tower with an AIO CPU cooler installed looks like. The 92 mm AIO liquid CPU cooler should fit perfectly with a Dell mid tower desktop. However, some models like this PC and other Dell Optiplex 30 series use an 80 mm rear fan, so we cannot mount the radiator directly. We can use the 80 mm to 92 mm fan bracket adapter to mount the radiator to the case, or we can install one more 80 mm fan to the radiator using the fan bracket adapter, as I did in this video. For other Dell mid tower desktops, we don't need to use a fan bracket adapter. The Dell Vostro and Inspiron series have universal 80 mm and 92 mm fan mounting holes on the rear of the case so that we can install the 92 mm AIO CPU liquid cooler directly. Now let's turn on the PC. The fans are spinning. And the Windows 11 is booted. I have performed the CPU stress test with Furmark and Dell stock cooler. The max CPU temperature is 78 degrees Celsius. After I installed the Asetek 92 mm AIO liquid CPU cooler with push-pull configuration, the Furmark CPU stress tests showed the CPU temperature decreased to 55 degrees Celsius, which is a significant improvement. It's an excellent opportunity for me to make a plan to upgrade this PC in the future. Now, I don't have a graphics card that fits the case. I plan to buy a NVIDIA GTX 1660 Super or RTX 3060 or RTX 4060 with dual fans to fit this PC. In my next video, I will upgrade the power supply, install the GPU on this PC and benchmark it with some games. If you like my video, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.